Hey, how's it going? Welcome to One Minute Tutorials, back with another really cool cycle action. So I got another big project in front of me, 94 tracks. So if I open my mixer, it's kind of a mess. There's just too many tracks, it's hard to mix things. And not all the tracks are going at the same time. So if I'm mixing this scene, I don't need all this extra faders in my way. So what I can do, I can select my tracks. Bibidi babidi boop. Now they are the only tracks in my mixer. I can play the track, do my mix. And then once I'm happy with it, beep bop boop, my mixer is normal. So I'll show you the cycle action. So when I select a bunch of tracks and I run this action, it shows selected tracks in MCP and hides all the others and loads Windows set five, which is my window set with the mixer kind of big, but the arrange view kind of still in view. Then it waits, I do my mixing, once I'm happy with it, I hit it again. Now all the tracks are again shown in the mixer control panel, all the tracks are unselected, and load window set 1 is selected, which is this window set, my arrange view. One slight problem with this is that if you already have a bunch of tracks hidden in your mixer control panel, obviously when you come here and say show all tracks in MCP, those tracks will show up. So it's not a big deal for me, but if it is a big deal for you, what you can do is go command E, open this window, and then click on one of these track views, save them with the track mixer status visibility order controls so before you run the action you save your track view whatever is hidden and whatever is not in your mixer is saved then you go back and load the previous track view simple as that it's a really useful action for big music projects or big film projects so i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and if you have any questions regarding pro tools reaper sws all of those things just let me know in the comments and i'll make you a video in one day um see you later